Long time no see. It's been over a year and I'm very tired, so my hair is not that great and everything else because I kind of just woke up and things like that, but this has been kind of gnawing at me, so I decided I'll do a video. I actually got asked somewhat recently whether I was going to come back and do videos on YouTube. And I thought about this and I've been chewing on that for a while and I was very shocked that anybody would even ask if I was because, you know, you know, it's been almost a year and I didn't really hear anything else. And even when I uploaded videos after, like if you go back on the channel, there's like a a video um, that has like a blank thumbnail that kind of explains what was going on at the time when I kind of deleted, like just mass panic, deleted a bunch of my stuff. And I, I admit I was prone to like panic and anxiety and things like that. And that spiraled me into like sadness and depression and things like that. And I mass deleted a bunch of my content. And then the last video I uploaded was talking about how my old laptop died, and that's where I had a lot of those videos stored, so I don't have any of those old videos anymore to re-upload, so if I were to come back, I would have to make new content. So if I were to make newer content, um, maybe I would go back to using my little set. It's covered in stuff right now, um, and everything's like a mess in here. but. Um, I've been thinking about it. If I were to come back to do videos, I would most likely just do it on a webcam. Just go back to the early days I was doing videos and do it on my webcam because this webcam actually is pretty decent. It's a webcam. It's not like the best quality ever, but most of my videos were just me sitting there and talking to you. And I could handle doing that on this. It wouldn't be the most aesthetically pleasing and I wouldn't be able to ed like edit not that I really did much of that anyway but I wouldn't really be able to edit clips in or sounds again not like I really did that anyway <laughs> I wish I could I wish I were like I would I were better technically skilled and I you know whatever but that's besides the point I'm very rambly I, I don't have a script in front of me for this <sighs> but I've been thinking about it I would love to do videos again this was something that I really did like I really did like doing this and I cared about doing this, but the emotional toll on me with that whole massive amounts of panic, as I said, I am, I was just prone to panic and anxiety. And I did looking back on it, I overreacted and things like that, as did many people at that time. And I deleted a bunch of my content and I got very disheartened. And even though I did upload or re-upload a few videos after the fact, I just kind of lost it, especially after I lost the laptop and I just didn't have any of the things to fall back on. I just was like, eh, you know what? Focus on other things. Focus on things that you need and, um, you know, just stuff that you actually need in real life. You have your full-time job. Just do that. Save up money. Do things that you need in real life. Like I had a bunch of dental work done. Um, not all of it's completed yet, but I had a bunch of that done and, you know, just other things in my life that took priority. And eventually I just stopped even thinking about doing YouTube videos, except every now and again in the back of my mind, like, oh, that's a good idea. I should, I should write that down and I should do that. And I've written scripts. I actually still have a number of my handwritten scripts, not any of the typed ones, unfortunately. But again, they were on the old one. But I've been thinking about it. There are videos I would love to do. But if I were to come back and do YouTube, it would be like this. I don't know who would be interested in seeing that, but, and the, the thumbnails would, I'd have to find a way to make the thumbnails because at the very least I should have nicer thumbnails. Um, so I'd find a way. I would find a way to make nicer thumbnails. I would hope. I'm not making promises. I'm not a tech savvy person at all. And I'm always very tired. As I said, work a full time job, so. But that's something I've been thinking about doing. I would love to finish up doing the Twilight video. You know, I did two parts, 16 views each on those videos. I'm very proud. But I would really love, in all serious, joking aside, I would love to actually go back and just finish and do some other videos and tie some stuff off. And I have some other great, in my opinion, uh, great videos I would love to do. I'm very out of practice with this. So I'm sorry, I'm very rambly. But there are like Doctor Who videos I would love to do. And there are vampire videos I would love to do like I had a really fun idea of like talking about my favorite vampire servants in different medias and again personal bias because they're my lists and I do what I want 
um, talking about Mem Not the Devil. Mem Not the Devil was a video that was supposed to be done a long time ago. I had the script ready. I had everything ready. I just really had to, you know, but again, emotional toil, toll, toil, emotional toll, didn't really get around to, to filming it or editing it. I had the script up. I think I filmed maybe one scene of the review and then never got around to it. The Twilight videos, I lost the third part. I filmed all of the Twilight video um, in like different segments, but I did have that third part. I just had to edit it. And then I just never got around to editing it. And then, yeah. So for anybody who actually cares, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, but that's my answer. If I were to come back to doing YouTube, it would be very informal because I don't want to have to deal with the stress and the rat race of trying to make everything look super nice and get into, you know, a set, you know, and do all that stuff. I would love to go back and doing some of it. I don't misunderstand. It's just, if I were to come back, at least at first, it would just be this informal kind of thing. I'd probably have like my notebook on my lap and just speak casually to you. So that's it. So thank you very much. Terry over and out.